よしやりますか上がり味見頼みます豚の代わりに牛肉を使ったビーフカツ丼ドンケンレシピをさらに工夫して鶏とうずらを混ぜた卵でとしたからコクが深まったはず<笑> So beef cuts d o n It's not that hard to do But quite annoying let's say First off you'll need some meat A New York strip will do Eggs and quail eggs Panko Flour and cornstarch And of course some rice Boil down some water and put in some cups of rice Or, if you're a good person, simply use a rice cooker. For some reason, they still don't have one here. Mmm, nice steam effect. So, let's crack some eggs. Three or more should suffice. We're using these as egg wash for our panko so that it sticks to the meat. Just season it a little bit with some salt and pepper. You can never go wrong with a little bit of seasoning, you know? Now, to whisk the egg. I'm using a chopstick, simple and easy tool to break your eggs, and probably your Asian friend's favorite tool in the kitchen. There you have it. Egg wash, done. Get yourself another bowl and add yourself a cup of flour. Unlike me, measure your cup first, it'll be easier. Now let's add in our cup of cornstarch, measured this time. Now, just mix everything together. So I figured my egg bowl was a little bit small to egg wash the meat, so I transferred it to a bigger bowl. So here's the last member of the frying trio, Mr. Panko. Just like the others, we're leaving it in the same type of bowl. Now, for this beautiful meat, take it out of its bag and season it. The classic salt and pepper will do. Words of advice you want to season it a lot, otherwise, it won't taste much after being fried. So, now that our rice is ready, we'll be frying our meat soon. Hope you didn't do like us and prepared your rice after your prep, cause we got hungry and made some sashimis while waiting. Let the frying begin! Here's our meat. Wash it in the flour mix twice if needed. Then into the egg. And finally into the panko. Repeat this process twice for more crispiness. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there were onions in this recipe. They give flavor when golden or caramelized. Just fry them on the side. Now, frying beef is a little bit harder than chicken because it takes longer to cook. A little like 5 minutes total, so 2.5 minutes each side should do the trick.
Here's a beautiful beef cutlet and the cooking is perfect. Shout out to my friend Chris for cutting it because it's way harder than you might think. Even with a good knife surprisingly. And voila! Shokugeki's beef katsudon. This definitely could have been better, but it was fun to make at least.